Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see some useful iPhone battery saving tips, especially if you have updated to the iOS 16 in your iPhone and you are facing any battery fast drain problem, then these tips will definitely be helpful to you. iOS 16 is kind of a nightmare for older iPhone models, especially when you have the battery health around 85%, people are noticing fast battery drain compared to iOS 15. Of course, Apple have given given as an option to stay in iOS 15, receiving just the security updates. But to experience the new features, you don't have to turn off all the essential features to get some better battery performance overall. Another important thing you should remember is if your battery health has already reached 80% or below that, it is important to check with Apple Service Center to replace the battery. These tips that I'm going to share with you right now may not help fixing the battery drain problems if your battery health already reached its limit and remember these tips are suitable for older iPhone models and not necessary for newer iPhone models with good battery health and the very first thing you have to do is if you're not using screen time feature because most of us use the battery feature to see the battery performance the battery graph overall so if you're not using the screen time then it is important to turn off the screen time feature here you can see in the battery settings page you can get a good preview of the app's usage and all the battery performance details pretty much. And here under settings screen time, it also consumes certain battery power in the background. So turn it off if you're not using it. And the second important tip is you can turn off background app refresh or use it only with Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and mobile data based on your requirement. If the apps that you're using needs the background app refresh to function normally, then you can configure it according to the requirement environment you don't have to turn it off but this does consume quite big amount of battery in the background and it is important to turn the toggle on only for the apps that needs the background app refresh by default the toggle will be on for all the applications that you have installed in your iphone so make sure to turn off and turn on the toggle based on your requirement and the necessary of the applications that needs the background app refresh. This will definitely show a good improvement in the overall battery uh, performance you know, throughout the day. And the next important tip is navigate to settings, privacy and security. And here you have to take control of the location services. As I normally suggest in our previous battery drain related episodes, it is important to take control of the location services making sure that which applications use the GPS in the background or while using the phone. The Find My iPhone feature should have the location services access, so completely turning it off doesn't make sense. So under the location services section, you can see the list of applications that can use the GPS of your iPhone. And when you navigate inside a specific app, make sure you configure it either while using the app or you can set it as ask next time or when I share or you know, you can set it as never. So based on the applications, the camera app doesn't need the location services to be turned on by default. But if you're using the photos app feature with location based photo organizing, then you need to keep it on. So based on what you need, you have to decide under under set system services. I'm in India and I don't use the Apple Pay as it is not available. So I have kept it off and the compass calibration. I rarely use compass in my iPhone. So I kept it off and the device management for emergency calls as well as I need it to be accessible for any emergency situation and find my iPhone of course I keep it on I don't have any home kit accessories so I kept it off and I don't want location based alerts and suggestions so I kept it off similar to that you can check the significant location section if you don't want Apple to collect all the uh, location data that you normally visit then you can uh, turn off that toggle as well based on that the analytics routing and traffic any advertisements that needs to be served to you or any logs that normally gets collected under privacy and security section you can control it within this settings page here you can see the analytics and improvements in the previous privacy and security page I have kept it off so this is another important tip you know along
along with the location services control the logs and any data that needs to be sent to apple should be turned off and the apple advertising feature is also not necessary for older iphone models in order to save the battery so you can turn that log gathering or any personalized ad suggestion for you as well and the next important tip is take control of the notifications similar to the location services notifications consume you know plenty of battery in the background and over the night battery drain also happens when we poorly configure the notifications from you know notifications we simply swipe away in the morning when we wake up and check our iphone so don't allow notifications for all the apps that you have installed make sure to periodically conduct an audit to turn off notifications permission for applications that you normally don't use food delivery applications you know it is important to have the notifications turned on but they normally misuse it by sending a lot of promotional messages to us unnecessarily that also consumes the battery a certain percentage the next important thing is siri and search if you normally use siri summoning feature the a siri and other features then you can keep it on otherwise you need to keep the listen for hey siri feature off to prevent siri to use the battery juice in the background and you can also and if you still want to use siri you can press the power button or you can trigger it from your apple watch if you are wearing one you know in order to access the siri quickly simply by pressing the power button in the side for two seconds you can normally you know trigger the siri and then you can pass your commands this is of course an important battery you know consumption service so you can control it based on the requirement you need the next important thing is using low power mode we have already done an episode separate one whether using always on low power mode is efficient or not based on the user feedback of course so you can use low power mode even when the iphone reaches 30 to 40 percentage apple normally triggers it when you reach the 20 percentage it asks us in a screen prompt that whether you want to use the low power mode or not if you're traveling outside and you want to save some battery percentage you can use it when it is around 30 to 40 percentage to restrict certain system services running in the background or any network related usage to get some one hour or two hour extra battery performance overall till you get the charger and you know further charge your iphone it is important to charge your iphone whenever it reaches 20 percentage as soon as possible to maintain the battery health as we suggested in one of our episode i leave some useful links in the description and in the first comment related to battery health management and the battery tips as well and the next important tip is using Wi-Fi whenever it is available. If you are traveling and you are going to a coffee shop or a train station, then if there is any free Wi-Fi av available, try to use it. Because whenever you are in mobile data and the signal reception fluctuates with between one or two point, your you know whatever the apps you usage, it may work with certain speed limit, but it consumes plenty of battery power in the background. So make sure you are using Wi-Fi whenever it is available in the public place. The next important thing is using dark mode if it is suitable to you or if you're finding it okay. Some people prefer light mode, but dark mode on the OLED display models, especially if you're using iPhone 12 and higher iPhone models, dark mode will definitely be effective to save like 4 to 5 percentage consumption overall from 100% to 0%, you know, while you are using the applications. If you're using OLED iPhones, then it is important to consider the dark mode if it is is comfortable to use otherwise you may use the light mode and follow the other tips that we have suggested in this episode you know that will still be effective to save some battery percentage but the usage experience is all matters so based on that you can decide whether to enable the dark mode or not but it does show a good difference with the battery consumption overall when you use it throughout the day and in lcd iphones iphone 11 and earlier models with lcd displays you won't see any difference it is just a feature to let you change the experience from light mode to dark mode that's all you won't see any other battery related improvements the next important thing is even though this reduced white point doesn't have a huge difference with the battery consumption as per the apple documentation it is still okay to turn on and then you can adjust the reduce white point based on your viewing requirement 
when we turn on and turn off all the other uh, the UI the graphics related elements of the iOS then adjusting the white point according to the need of what you are seeing on the display will definitely be useful to make your viewing experience a lot better and the next important thing is auto brightness keeping it on is definitely an effective way to control the brightness feature automatically whenever you're outdoor or whenever you are indoor based on the ambient light you know it will automatically adjusted and your battery consumption will be managed uh, normally otherwise you have to navigate from the control center and manually adjust the brightness you know in order to save the battery if you forget it then it may also cause difficulty while viewing it outside the next important thing is reduce transparency mode toggle to on this of course across the system wherever you are seeing the transparency effect the blur in the background of the wallpaper or the image that will be changed along with that navigate to accessibility settings accessibility and then uh, navigate to motion and then turn on the reduce motion here you can see the animation effects have been cut out from the ios 16 running device and this may be you know loading the app faster and it may give you a faster experience overall but in older iPhone models this will definitely be helpful with saving the battery certain percentage very small percentage but you know combined with all the other tips that I'm suggesting it will definitely be effective overall throughout the day and the next important thing is widgets widgets are beautiful and it gives a quick peek and preview of what the application data inside is without opening the application at the same time either in the lock screen or in the home screen widgets definitely consume plenty of battery percentage based on what type of widgets we are using if you're using weather widget to update the location services you know frequently uh, then it definitely consumes more battery power in newer iphone models with good battery health it won't be an issue but if you're using older iphone model or if you have an iphone with 85 percentage or around battery health then it is good to turn on the location services only for very essential apps and the lock screen widgets and the uh, home screen widgets you know wherever you use will definitely take a huge hit with the battery so make sure you are using one or two widgets or no widgets at all based on your requirement and that will definitely be helpful with battery saving if you think i have missed any other points and if you like to add some other suggestion based on your experience that actually works with saving battery in iphone then do suggest it in the comment section it may be helpful for other users as well and if you have any questions don't forget to search our channel with one word to find the answers faster related to iphone ipad and mac thank you and have a wonderful day